great night we had with yesterday's event family time. Yes, many families were able to come and help out. And we were able to make 20 total blankets for those less unfortunate. So I'm here today with Vince, and I'm going to ask him questions on the immigration reform Obama gave a speech about. So what are your thoughts on the decision Obama made with the immigration laws? Well, I think it's an interesting uh, way to go about trying to seek change. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, he's not the first president that's tried to go through the normal route to make changes to immigration laws. And none of those changes have been very successful in the last couple of presidential terms. Even going back to uh, when President Bush was in office, he tried to do some of the same changes that President Obama tried to make happen last year. Um, and so I think out of frustration, he's, he's making a decision to try and do something else. How will Congress react to the decision Obama made without consulting them? Well, uh, we've seen a little bit in the news in the last couple of days of some congressmen that are planning on uh, filing lawsuits and trying to bring action against the president for uh, doing this without Congress's approval. We'll see what, what comes of that in the future. And how do you feel about the 17 states that are making federal lawsuits challenging the constitutionality of Obama's action? Well, I think it's within their rights to do that. Uh, it's unfortunate that we ended up in that spot, and I wish that they would, instead of challenging the constitutionality of that decision, they would just pass their own immigration laws and, and make changes. And do you think immigrants will be protected later on due to this decision Obama made? Hopefully. I mean, at the end of the day, that's best case scenario. This executive order, the thing with executive orders is by the end of the president's term, the next president doesn't have to continue using those. So hopefully, this is just the beginning of the process. Because um, 2016 is very close, and that's when this executive order might not even matter anymore. So hopefully, this is the beginning of real change that's actually going to be effective. And do you think Obama made the right decision with the immigration reform? I think as long as it leads to lasting change that really makes an actual difference, absolutely. Well, thank you today, Vince, for answering these questions. No problem. Hi, welcome to the Veritas High School first annual Brownie Bake Off. Between us three people, we made brownies. We're going to have some judges taste them, and they will vote on the best brownie here at Veritas. I made my brownies. Ooh. This is pretty much just a boxed brownie, and it's. Uh, but I did splurge and I bought the Giardelli kind, and so they were like three bucks a box. So, it is a splurge. Um, my name is Naomi, and I have two different kinds of brownies. One is Kit Kat, and one is fudge brownies. And yes. Um, hi, my name is Z, and then I put. Um, sugar powder on top and I'm without it and then I put all my heart and soul in this so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay well let's see what the tasters think of our brownies. Number one. Go. Yeah go. <laughs> okay that was number one. Can someone give us some comments on number one? What their feelings were on it? Okay. It's really chewy, mm -hmm. not really a good, fun consistency, personally. Mm -hmm. All right, now look at your number two section. Okay. Number two. Which one? Oh, uh, well, there's two in number two. Okay, start off with the powdered one. Start out with the powdered one. It's plain music, I guess. Any comments on that one? Kind of tastes like vinegar. It has a weird aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. try 2.5, the second one at number two. Thoughts on that? Comments? It went down a lot smoother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was harder to eat. Crunchy in the beginning and nice and. No, all the other ones were 
All the other ones were dry, but this one. Could you don't. It's like. Yeah. Could you have some liquids? Yeah. Alright. Number three. Um, the one with the weird coating on top. The one with chips of oil on top. Squishy. She's choking. Okay, any comments on that one? Thing on the top, it gives you a kind of weird taste when you bite into it. Tastes good. Okay, last one, 3.5. It's floating in the mouth. At first it tasted kind of smoky to me, but then that went away and I just got a chocolate. It was alright, I mean it was a lot of chocolate. I don't really like chocolate, but Ronnie was good. Okay, so how about we just go down, I guess, the line and they say their number out loud that they think is the best, and we'll try to keep count as much as possible. Maybe hold it up on your fingers so that we can, because we're bad at math. Okay? Like this so, or this? Go down the line. She's going to film, though, as you say it out loud. Okay. Pick which number you think is best. Number three, this one. <laughs> <laughs> I guess number three as well. Number three. 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 Two. So I was number one. And I was number two. And I was number three. So that means our first annual Veritas High School Brownie Bake Off winner is Naomi. Hey. She cheated. I did cheat. Go ahead and pick for me. We can't smell them, right? They don't smell like anything anyways. Okay. You can't smell anything anyways. Describe your jelly. We describe it I mean, it's They pick the same color. White, orange and white. Like a peachy orangey color. Okay, go ahead and try your oh Do it. Ew! <laughs> 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 Am I supposed to eat it? <laughs> I don't know. What does it taste like? <laughs> <laughs> you brought the garbage can. Spicy? It's so Spicy sour. I have the flavor of my mom. Oh my god. You guys want to know what it is? Part. It's moldy cheese. Ew! <laughs> Ew, it's like, like when the, when the, there's like, when you put something in the fridge, and it's like, you can taste the fridge, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you guys can pick from these. Oh, I want vomit. Okay. Color? What does your jelly bean look like? Brown, like a bean. Crap. Like crap, what colors are in it? Brown, like orange, and then like uh, yellow. I like the yellow. Color. What what flavor do you think it is? Chocolate. Probably cheese. Cheese. chocolate. I think it's moldy cheese. Moldy cheese? Okay, go ahead and eat it. Oh! oh. oh my God! <laughs> you can spit it out if you want. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I hate chocolate. <laughs> I'm gonna try another one. <laughs> that would be sick. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> one last one. Last, one last one. Pick the, take that black one. Right. What do you think it is? Like. <laughs> okay, go ahead and eat it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what it is? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> oh my god. What is this? Oh, skunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
the camera. <laughs> it's gonna start to smell. Think of the challenge. It's, it's, it's a good beer, but it's nasty. Yeah? Would you do it again? Yes. Bye. Bye. <laughs> um, are trending right now? I would say awkward, faking it, vampire diaries. Uh, yeah. So what shows do you find most interesting? Pretty Little Liars. You like to watch that too? Walking Dead, Vampire, well all of them. <laughs> I watch so many shows lately. What shows would you recommend to people? I would have to go get a list. Like, if you have enough time for me to say all of them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I would say Vampire Diaries, Faking It, Awkward, for Little Liars. Oh, the new show's coming in July. Yeah. So, what do you watch shows on? On um, Netflix. Only? Yep. Any shows you recommend for people? Uh, Lie to Me and Prison Break. Mm. What shows are trending right now? Huh? What shows are trending right now? Um, I know Arrow, The Flash, um, Game of Thrones are the ones I can think of. Uh, what shows do you find most interesting, or which ones are your favorites? The types of shows, or the just shows? Just shows. Um, well, I don't mean Prison Break, Hero, Vikings, uh, Game of Thrones. <laughs>